Now this is a vintage Dunlap branded toolbox. It looks like from about the 1930s. Now Dunlap was the Sears and Roebuck company's midline tool brand, not the low line one. This would be, I think, called Champion or um, Companion. Not really completely sure. But let's see what's in the box. And I think you're gonna, I think this is really cool because I sure as heck did. Well, first off, we've got this piece of slightly moldy leather, which I'm just going to put that out of frame. But the real cool thing is a Stanley number 55. And if I can silence my phone, this is, it is a combination plane. I just found that out from... I think it's Wood by Wright YouTube channel I was looking at, but I do like to give a bibliography. And you got this piece, you got this piece, this over here, whatever that is, I don't quite know yet, as well as these four rods, which I'm assuming put the pieces together. And I can do my worst job at YouTubing. These four sets of cutters come in little wooden crates. And I guess they came with the plane. Now, isn't that cool? And this thingamabob that does the thing that it does, which is something that I don't know because I don't. But what this generally does is this will cut a profile kind of like a router. And you have this here, which is your fence. And you have this, which sets your depth. And then you're going to be able to put one of these blades into here to cut a profile. It's very hard to do this while I'm holding the camera. So, I'm just going to put you on hold for a moment. And now you can kind of follow along with me since I just unpaused it. As I try to figure this out. They do have some chrome that's coming off. But this isn't like the super valuable, rare, original one from that they probably made back in the day. But let's look at some of these some of these features here. You got this little turn screw here and another screw here that does the something. But that's screwed to there, so I don't know what the something is. Maybe it rotates and slides or So it looks like it should slide, but it's not sliding. And then this looks like another depth setting part. Yeah, I know I'm terrible at this. There are people who know these better. But this is the kind of thing you're going to come across when you yard sale. Sometimes you just got to buy it and then figure it out later. I'm sure I will be able to find some very quality YouTube videos that will show me what I'm doing wrong. So, looks like we've got a rod there, a rod there. Boy, it is unfortunately getting hot again here in Florida. And you can put it together with rods. And then you can put other things with the rods. See? And I imagine, shock of shocks, those rods, holes will fit into these rods. Is this put together right? Uh, I don't think so. I really don't think so. I think there's something I'm doing wrong. And it's going to take a bit of a learning curve to figure out what that something is. So now let's take, I guess tighten that thumb screw. Loosen it. Oh, that moves in and out. 
Yep, just just like I said it would. No, I didn't, but uh, it looks like this piece of wood, yes, it pivots. So you can set it at a different angle on your piece of wood. But all in all, an interesting find. Now, did I get ripped off? Well, I paid 20 bucks for the whole setup with the toolbox and everything. So I need you to let me know what you think. Did I get ripped off on this? Let me know in the comments. And thank you for watching.